<laughs> George W. Bush finally admitted he's a war criminal. Oh, my gosh. We're, we went back to our old theme song. To the Bush From era From the Bush theme. years. Yeah. Everything old is new we again. We got in the time machine. We can go back and fix 2016. This is fantastic. Get George Bush to the Hague early. We know oh you my have God. a time machine. That's how you appeared in that campaign Okay, photo. DOJ, let's go. Let's yeah. get Trump in prison and all will be right with the world. Here we go. Thank God Sean didn't uh, throw that away. Yeah. <laughs> well, we already went back to fight songs. We're yeah. like, we are definitely not walking on no. sunshine. No. If, if we were walking on sunshine, our feet would be burning. That's how bad it is yes, right now. because of climate change, yes. However, wow. Hey, I'll take it where I can get it. George Bush finally admits he's a war criminal. Oh, he blamed being 75. No, yeah. you were a war criminal then, and you're still a war criminal. So, wow. What was that again, Travis? Let me just make sure I heard that right. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. Who? I was saying that back then. I was... Remember, Chris, yeah. we were saying that back then. That I this was the, totally the, remember. Okay. But remember, that's funny that remember people chuckled because people chuckled warmly because, ha, remember over 4,000 American troops died and I don't know, who knows how many, right? Like 200,000, yeah. I don't know, Iraqis, something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Miles Taylor. The, your party's always been awful. Okay. Thanks for realizing it now, but it's always been awful. Uh Flag oh. Nicole Wallace on that one too, please. I'm sorry, but yeah. she, doesn't, she doesn't get to run away from something. She things. had a hand in it. Yes, but the degree to which I love her now, I have rose-colored glasses That's on. That's fair, unless she's covering anything related did, to the Bush did administration. Did you see Kate McKinnon uh, play Nicole Wallace on Oh, I Saturday didn't. Night I Live? heard about yes. it. I have to watch it. Yeah. Oh, my God. She had her that mannerisms the... down. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That would be being played by Kate McKinnon. You could just retire. Yeah. Okay. What National Treasure played by National Treasure? I think Cecily Strong would have to play you. I think so. Yeah, I, I would. We would, we would have to. We would have to have a Judge Janine off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Can I just say, summing up the Republican Party, Adam uh, tweeted it: Republicans love kids so much they voted against baby formula. They voted against baby formula. I mean, this is this Republican Party, right? But, but the it, Lincoln Project said the GOP. Pre- uh, pretends to care about parents and children suffering from the formula shortage, but then turn around and vote against bills that attempt to ease supply and access issues. They only care to the extent they can blame it on Biden or immigrants. It is all a ruse. Thank you. Nobody sees it seems more clearly than former Republicans. But it was only, not to defend Republicans, it was only nine of them, nine of the most vocal, like, Right, douche nozzly. Right, monstrous. you would think. Yeah. Right. But who, you know, we had uh, our fantastic representative from Connecticut on yesterday. It was her bill. Yeah. I'm just saying, you can say what you want. It's not the Democrats don't have laws. They're, she was fantastic. Everybody was saying yeah. yesterday. Johanna Hayes? Yeah. Well, you know, former mm-hmm. National Teacher of the Year. Yeah. We've had who, what, Sean Caston on, was a scientist. Like, we have some awesome, amazing oh, yeah. people on our side that actually really care. Right about real people and their real problems and how to solve them. Tell me one thing Republicans have tried to solve. Nothing. Nothing. They complain. How about this? That's all they do. They, Man, they, Manu they... Raju tweets, uh, excuse me, Chris, as House Dems push a bill targeting oil companies on allegations of price gouging, GOP leaders send whip notice to members urging them to vote against it, calling it an attempt to distract and shift blame to energy producers. Where the blame belongs. Yes. I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead. No, I, 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 I was saying they elect internet trolls. That's yes. all they do. Yeah, performance artists. Yeah, they're not there to legislate. Yeah. They're there to stir things up, raise money for themselves, and go home. Oh, I hear Lauren Boebert is up next in the Uh-oh. GOP shoot after Madison Cawthorn. Oh, dear. Marjorie Taylor Greene's got Boy, gotta... they are. Look at how brutal they are in taking down their lunatics. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying we got to. Learn a thing or two. I mean, Liz Cheney is only a borrowed velociraptor. We have to get our own. I mean. I mean, Fetterman. I'm just saying. Democracy's bouncer. <laughs> Democracy's bouncer is a start. He's more of a T-Rex. Now you just can't leave. He's yeah, giant. he is. He's our T-Rex. He's 6'9". Isn't that exactly the size of a T-Rex? Close. He's, he's kind of the shape of a brontosaurus, And his hands though. look yeah. like his, an immovable... His hands look of normal size. He is a combination of T-Rex and Chaz Palminteri. He's going to lock the door before the midterms to say to Republicans. Mm-hmm. Now you just can't leave. Okay. Now you just can't leave. Okay. He's a cross between Patrick Swayze and Rose, Roadhouse. Chaz Palminteri in Bronx Tale and the T-Rex. I've never seen Roadhouse nor Bronx Tale. I, I haven't Roadhouse either. Is amazing. But you get the idea. No, he's, he's can't leave. He's, he's democracy's bouncer. He's going to throw some insurrectionist mother out. Out on the raft. All right. All right. See ya. Okay. 
Uh, did I uh, did I pretty much cover it? Yes, Representative Eric Swalwell said Republicans aren't interested in solutions. They're inter- they're interested in theater and chaos. House Democrats offered a baby formula solution to help your family. Almost every House GOP member voted against it. Hashtag community over chaos. Yeah, that's a good that's a good theme. Yeah. And Pam Keith, one last one. The GOP wants chaos for the midterms. It will vote against anything that helps the American people. They are at war with us. Wake up. Um. Yeah, all of it. Whatever you're worried about, baby formula, gas prices, whatever. Somebody made a good point, too. They're like, Democrats, stop reacting to what the media feeds voters that they're concerned about. Yeah. Right? And and start. I, 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 somebody, hang on. Hold, please. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Who Rutabaga, said Rutabaga, 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 Rutabaga. John Pavlovitz said it best. He said, the most difficult task right now is convincing tens of millions of people how close to fascism we are and that they should wake up and help, help pull us back from the abyss. It, it's... This midterm can't be about all the normal things, yeah. right? It is about the end of democracy, mm-hmm. which is why we have a Save Democracy Tour. Yes. That was clumsy and yet wholehearted. This is why we named the Sexy Liberal Tour yeah. the Save Democracy Tour, because that's where we are. Do we? Do you believe in the Buffalo Shooters Manifesto? Do you believe in a white supremacist theocracy where women have no rights? Or, or do you believe in the America that we've all grown up in and that we know? Oh. It's another election oh, year, thank you. and they're back. back. Stephanie Miller's sexy liberals unite Clunky. to save democracy. Oh. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. Back for this election year. The sexy liberals save democracy tour returns to the Saban Theater in Los Angeles. One show only, Saturday, October 22nd. Just one show before election day. Starring Stephanie Miller. Give it up for yourselves, LA sexy liberals. God bless you. From Tell Me Everything, Sirius XM's John Fugelsang. Cable news, it should be called the stuff they air between Viagra and Cialis ads. Um, Comedy duo Frangela. You're the kind of good white folks who adopt black babies. Yes. And not because they're cheaper, okay? And Al Sparks. Believe me, I have a lot of liberal friends who love this country enough to vote almost every other election. And right before the election, October 22nd at the Saban Theater in L.A. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save Democracy Tour. Tickets at sexyliberal.com. Yay! Yay! Yeah. I bought the t-shirt, too. It's fantastic. Yes. Save democracy. Mm. Well, okay. we have two of them. Two, I know. Two designs. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, we had more to come. More to come. <laughs> Thank you. Our <sighs> graphic designers are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is Brian Tyler Cohen said, on the same day, Republicans both held a press conference blaming Biden for the baby formula surge and voted against a bill that would ensure access to baby formula amid a shortage. Uh, this is who they are. And by the way, they're telling you they're yeah. going to destroy yeah. Medicare and Social Security this time. They're telling you. Yep. Believe them when they tell you something, right? George Bush. That's like a George Bush got in a DeLorean. Admitted he's a war criminal. It was a brutal, unprovoked invasion of Iraq. Listen, we're, justice, we're Scooter Libby. justice doesn't feels like it's not coming at all, and then it comes all at once, doesn't it? That sounded dirty, but I didn't mean that it that way. That really did. I'm it, not even going to comment yeah. on that. Mm. I think I said that to, to Glenn Kirshner about John Gotti or somebody. It seems like it's never coming, and then it comes all at once. And you flood the zone with good, as Glenn said. Mm. Stephanie? Hmm? What? Stop. I'm sorry. I went away for a minute mentally. Sexily. Okay, I'm back. Yes. He's, he's not going to come on anymore if you keep right. doing that. Hey, <laughs> look what I'm wearing. Speaking of which, look, my major Taylor jersey has arrived. It's Outdoor Bike Day today. Oh, uh, it's confusing. This is my uh, African American bike club that I ride with. Uh, I'm just saying, I am going to ride this Saturday in honor of uh, Buffalo, my hometown. I I love this tweet this morning. Can I just say it is? Adrian tweeted, black people in this country are tired. We are over 400 years of tired. We did nothing to deserve the vitriol we get day in and day out. The, uh, this demon, there's a guy that just got fired in New York, a corrections officer that made jokes about what happened in Buffalo, like clean up in multiple aisles at tops, something just gross. Um, this demon made fun of 10 innocent souls being massacred and said he was trying to lighten the mood. Um, a lot of folks don't see us as human. It, it is... Uh, I don't know whether it's just, it's my hometown. I think all of us are going to have, at some point, with the number of mass shootings we have, it's going to hit somewhere close to home for you. And it, it, Anyway, 
I just it made it more important. Again, I can't keep having we can't keep having these conversations. You've got to get more Democrats in if you want to at any chance of not being murdered by a gun eventually. Yeah. Right. No matter where you go, church, supermarket, concert, school. It, it, it's uh, OK. I'm hoping are other people at the boiling point I'm at. Do we hope? Tired. How about how about all y'all the half of the country doesn't vote? How, how about that? I don't think they how listen to this show. How you do it? I, I think they do. They're going ooh politics. No, no, they they, they listen to the bubbly pop channel on Sirius XM. <laughs> okay, what you can do for America is every Sirius XM radio you see turn change it to channel one twenty seven progress. So at least they listen by accident. Or if you're in Chicago, tune it to WCPT. There you go. Okay. Or KTNF in yes. Minneapolis. We have Carl Frisch. We have Dr. Red Leonard. We have uh, Dana Goldberg all on the big Thursday Thursday show. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Isn't it ironic we're waiting for mail-in ballots in uh, Pennsylvania? So they're saying that those votes do count. Hmm. Interesting. Did you see uh, Trump told Oz to just declare victory yeah, yeah. already? Because mm. that'll make it harder for the for See, they the can't cheat. Yeah. I see. So all mail-in ballots are cheating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this puts Oz in a really fun position, by the way. Oh, it's fantastic. Because he's going to piss Donnie off. That's what you get when you tie yourself to Donald I, no, Trump. No, I agree. That's, crazy. That's why it's yeah. yeah, when you tie yourself to crazy. And they're, guess they're, what you're tied to? Crazy. crazy. Well, they're also saying, too, that uh, Trump has been so forceful against, um, who's the other, the other loser that Trump, I can't the Oz is running against? Um, that guy. That guy. Whatever. Yeah. Other loser. Anyways, the, Oz is in the position now. Like, if, if Oz doesn't win, Trump has bashed that guy so hard, they'll just have to play clips of Trump bashing him for the commercial. Fetterman has a whole oppo research on him already, yeah. thanks to Donnie. I just love whoever, big, big bag of rats, whoever yeah. gets the opportunity to get the crap beaten out of you by Fetterman. Good for you. Um, and, Oh, big bag of rats news real quick. Uh-oh. Kathy uh -oh. Barnett. Crazy. <laughs> Speaking of crazy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of being tied to crazy. I'm loving this. Thing. She is blaming her loss in the <laughs> Pennsylvania Senate primary on Sean, Sean Hannity. Hannity. Fight, 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 fight. And You're Hannity all so says... awful. <laughs> um. She said, I do not want to, I, uh, I want to say never forget what Sean Hannity did in this race. <laughs> Almost single-handedly, Sean Hannity showed the seed, sowed the seeds of disinformation, flat-out lies every night for the past five days, and that was just extremely hard to overcome. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> After a Trump robocall took a swipe at Barnett's electability, she also responded against Trump, saying he was less electable than her. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Saying her congressional race in 2020 was more successful than his second try at the White House. <laughs> She said, I lost by 19 points. Donald Trump lost by more than 26 points. Who's less the less electable with those numbers? Don't fight. You're all awful and unelectable. She will survive. Um, oh, my God. Dr. Oz also said Hannity gave him late night advice during the campaign and referred to uh, Hannity as a brother. Isn't that nice? That's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, that story doesn't have Hannity's retort from last night? No. What did Hannity say? Oh, last Hannity night? said, you brought this on yourself, lady. Oh, are they... Is it part two of Big Mega Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Fantastic. Hannity went off on her last fantastic. night. Fantastic. Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. She better not lay there also and take it. Also very awful. What? She better not just lay there and take it. She needs to respond yes. forcefully. Yes. Yes. And we shall report did you, on it. And <laughs> did you see Joy Reid trying to steal our thunder getting that Madison Cawthorn booking? Madison, here, this is, I am a tea aficionado. Here is where you spill the tea about the Coke orgies. We will build that ramp. We have more time than Joy does. Yes. We, got, we will have you on for three, three hours. hours. She did, she copied something else from us yesterday, too. I can't uh -oh. remember what it was. There was something else that she said. I was like, oh, Joy listens. It's an homage. She's a fan. It's an homage. She's a fan. She told us she was a fan. She used to call in when she lived in, the, in Miami. Miami. Yeah. And we would hang up on her. Yeah. I didn't know it was Joy Reid. Well, she wasn't Joy Reid then. We hung but... up on everybody. We hung up on Melissa Etheridge. We hung up on Elvira. I... We Sean Astin. Sean Astin. Astin. We didn't know we hung up on the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> we've hung on we've hung up on all the best people. We hung up on Rudy. <laughs> we put Rudy on the, on the second string. On the bench. <laughs> we benched Rudy on this show. <laughs> I oh Jim, I believe it's Jim Ward's birthday today. It is, is it? Jim Ward's yes. birthday today. He we he did Simon Cowell to Melissa Etheridge. We we yes. were like we don't believe this is Melissa Etheridge. Can you sing? And he Jim said you that is the worst Melissa Etheridge I have ever heard. <laughs> That was the best day ever. All right. 20, when she called in. <laughs> Melissa, if you're listening, call in again. We oh, won't hang up this time, I No, promise. she's with her kids. She doesn't listen oh, to this show. She's a better with parent. With her kids. Because yes. gay people don't become parents by accident. Right. She knows better than leave yeah. them in the car during. Stephanie Miller. <laughs> God. 21 minutes after Although the Although the kids are probably 25 right now. <laughs> Uh, 